In this video, we'll learn how to install the Galley workstation. Inspect the Galley basin for any damage. Please refer to all local plumbing and building codes prior to installation. The tools required for installation include a drill, circular saw, level, tape measure, screws, clamps, four 1x6 hardwood boards, cloth, 2-inch painter's tape, 100% clear silicone, and a spray bottle. Unlike typical undermount kitchen sink installations, the galley workstation is installed in the cabinet prior to the counter being templated. A wood support frame will need to be constructed and mounted inside the base cabinet and recessed down to 1 16th of an inch from the top of the cabinets. Leave the installation instructions tray affixed to the galley basin until the countertop has been templated and leave the basin braces affixed to the basin's tiers until the countertop has been installed and silicone has cured for a minimum of one hour. The workstation and tap require a minimum of 22 and a half inches inside the cabinet. For 24 inch deep inset cabinets installed against a wall, the cabinet must be pulled one inch away from the wall. For countertops with a laminated or built up decorative front edge, Construct the wood support frame to finish 1 16th inches below the underside of the countertop cutout area. If your cabinets have been built to accommodate your galley workstation, proceed to step one. If you are joining two or more cabinets together to house the galley workstation, you will need to trim the bulkheads to create an 11 inch clearance for the basin. Step one, construct the support structure. A support frame will need to be built and installed into the cabinet. This frame will support the weight of the galley workstation. Clips are not to be used. Construct the support frame so that the inside dimensions of the frame are one half an inch larger than the basin's inside width and length dimensions. Please refer to the written installation instructions on the template tray in the basin for your specific dimensions. For a galley workstation plus dry dock, the support frame must be built with 1 by 2 inch boards so that there is no interference with any under counter appliances. Step 2. Place the support frame into the cabinet flush with the front of the cabinet. This will ensure that there is the minimum 3 inches of plumbing space from the back of the frame to the cabinet wall needed. Note: The support frame must be installed 1 16th of an inch lower than the top of the cabinet. Use a level to ensure that the support frame is installed level in the cabinet. Once installed, the top of the basin flanges will be flush with the top of the cabinet. Attach the support frame to the interior walls of the cabinet. Step 3. Install the workstation basin. Carefully place the galley workstation into the cabinet by resting the flanges on the support frame. All four flanges should rest upon the support frame. Use a bubble level to ensure that the flanges are level. The top of the flanges should be flush with the top of the cabinet. Position the basin that it is perfectly square within the cabinet. You are now ready for the countertop installation. Use the white template tray affixed to the basin flanges as your guide for the front to back and left to right cutout. Refer to the written installation instructions for your overall cutout dimensions or refer to the text on the template tray. The suggested maximum corner radius is 3 8 of an inch. Please refer to the countertop manufacturer's warranted minimums. Note, the front to back cutout dimension must always be exactly 18 inches. The finished countertop will not completely cover the basin flanges. A half inch will be exposed on the front and back flanges, and a quarter inch will be exposed on the left and right flanges. Creating this reveal allows for the culinary tools to slide across the upper tier. Step 1. On the front and back flanges, measure exactly 1 half inches from the inside of the basin and mark with the pencil. On the left and right flanges, measure exactly a quarter inch from the inside of the basin and mark with the pencil. Now you are ready to tape the flanges with painter's tape. Apply tape to the marked area, covering exactly a quarter inch closest to the inside of the basin. Ensure that the tape covers the entire length of the flanges and that it extends exactly a half inch onto the front and back flanges. Be sure that it does not extend more than a half inch onto the front and back flanges as shown. Apply tape to the marked area, covering exactly one half inch closest to the inside of the basin. Ensure that the tape covers the entire length of the flanges and that it extends exactly one quarter inch onto the left and right flanges. Be sure that it does not extend more than a quarter inch onto the left and right flanges as shown. 
The tape in the corners must line up perfectly to allow for easy tape and excess silicone removal once the countertop is in place. Be very precise with this step. The overall function of the galley depends on getting this step exactly right. Step 2. Apply a heavy bead of silicone to the untaped part of the flange. Step 3. Before setting the countertop in place, make sure the basin is perfectly square in the cabinet. Set the countertop and position it properly so there's exactly a half inch exposed reveal on the front and back flanges and exactly a quarter inch exposed reveal on the left and right flanges. Press the countertop down onto the flange. The silicone should fill any gaps. Step 4. Once the countertop has been set and the reveals measured, remove the excess silicone that is on the taped flanges. Do not remove the tape in this step. Using a spray bottle and a cloth, Carefully clean all excess silicone off of the exposed taped flange. Step 5. Wait approximately one hour and remove the tape and basin braces. This will ensure there is a clean flange, free from silicone, which will enable the culinary tools to slide freely. Every Galley workstation comes with a limited lifetime warranty. For more information, visit thegalley.com or give us a call.